Hi, my name is John. I've been a professional wrestler for about seven years. Nothing you're about to see should be done at home without the supervision of trained professionals. All right, the next move is the F5. Uh, this move is called the F5. Um, it's basically a it's basically a reverse TKO. Uh, the setup is exactly the same. The motions are exactly the same. But instead of throwing the person's legs behind you, you gotta you gotta get their legs up a little to get them over your head, and you're gonna throw them in front of you while still trying to keep their head close to you. Um, the biggest the biggest trick to this move is making sure you let the person get away from you enough that they can protect themselves without elbowing you in the face or in the throat while still making it look like you have them and you're in control of them. But in actuality, the person taking the move is, in, is, is completely responsible for their own safety once you, once you throw them. Oh, he's paralyzed. Coming in. And basically the setup, like I said, is the same as the TKO. You give the toe kick to the stomach, just a visual to get them bent over. Take them by their left arm, dig your shoulder into their hip, and grab behind their left knee. All right, and you both go down and up together. And then once you have them here, again, just make sure you have their head nice and close to, to your shoulder and give them the signal that you're gonna throw them, which is a slight turn this way before the big turn forward. <clears throat> Can I do it? Yeah, yeah. Ready? And as you see, you want to land with basically both of your right arms tangled together, your hand on their back or the back of their head. But that's all just visual, just making it look like you still had them and you were still giving them the move. <coughs> and you should definitely stretch out before doing any of these moves.